Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news. Still virtually nothing on the earnings calendar, though next week it will start to pick back up with some bigger names. And of course, we will see which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget to stop by Tip Ranks TV to catch some of our great exclusive stock series as well. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are slightly in the red this morning as investors wait for the release of the meeting minutes from the Fed's meeting last month where they raised interest rates by 0.75%. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.17%, S&P 500 futures down 0.22%, and NASDAQ futures down 0.3%. Ford surprised everyone with their June U.S. sales figure as the company saw sales increase 31.5% year-over-year despite semiconductor chip and supply chain issues. Ford reported sales of over 152,000 vehicles, that increase of 31.5% compared to the overall auto industry dipping 11% because of semiconductor chip and supply chain constraints. The F-150 Lightning was America's best-selling electric truck in June, and they saw their overall EV sales up 77% year-over-year. Ford's average transaction price rose around $1,900 per vehicle month over month compared to an industry increase of about $150. Analysts currently rate the Ford stock a moderate buy with an average upside of about 68%. Uber will be trying to enter the Israel market once again. The company first tried back in 2017, but faced some challenges from rivals and will now be going back with a slightly different business model. Uber will be returning to Israel with a new playbook that has worked well for them in other countries. They'll be working with existing taxi operators instead of signing up private drivers, and they'll accept both independent taxi drivers and those driving for companies. Back in 2017, they briefly were launched there, but they had a lot of complaints from taxi unions and companies who accused them of operating without proper licenses. According to a Reuters report, thousands of drivers have already joined the Uber platform in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. Analysts currently rate the Uber stock a strong buy with an average upside of 114%. Amazon has partnered up with Just Eat Takeaway to offer Prime users in the US a one-year free membership to their food delivery service, Grubhub. This will allow US Prime members to have their delivery fees waived from select restaurants where Grubhub operates. Amazon will have an initial option to take a 2% stake in Grubhub, and they'll be able to increase their total stake to 15%, conditional on performance terms focused on adding new customers. The Amazon stock is currently rated a strong buy, with an average upside of 58%. And also just released, the FDA has temporarily suspended their ban on vape product Juul. The Altria Group is slightly rising in the pre-market now. The FDA's tobacco division wrote in a tweet that the agency has determined that there are scientific issues unique to the Juul application that warrant additional review. Its decision followed a federal appeals court ruling that allowed Juul to stay on the shelves. The Altria stock is currently rated a hold with an average upside of nearly 24%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by SM Energy, though I wasn't able to find any distinct news behind the rise. Trading under the ticker SM, the stock is up 7.4%. They're followed by Sabre under SABR up 5% and Brookfield Infrastructure under BIPC up 4.5%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by DoorDash. They're sliding on the news of Amazon's deal with Grubhub. Trading under the ticker Dash or DASH, the stock is down 7.54%. They're followed by China Life Insurance Company under LFC down 7.46% and IAC Interactive Corp down about 5.7%. So that is going to be everything for Wednesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day.